I have tried over 10 Revlon hair tools and today I'm going to be ranking them from my least favorite to my favorite Revlon hair tool. So let's get right into the video. At number 10, I had to put the Coreless Flat Iron. I just, I just can't. I just did not love that hair tool. I'm sorry, but that hair tool was such a miss for me. I just didn't love that the battery life was just so short. I mean, this hair tool would die so quickly. It wouldn't even last like a whole 15 minutes even after fully charging it. I just didn't like that this flat iron had a clamp that was so odd to me. I just feel like the plates didn't press down enough because of the clamp. So it was just very hard to use. The plates and the hair tool was just so tiny. So it would take me forever to train my hair with that hair tool and it was just a big miss for me. I just did not like it. It was just not my favorite. So I had to put that one at number 10 at the bottom of my list because it was just a big no-no for me, a big no-no. At number nine, I have the Revlon Steam Pod hair tool. This hair tool also, I just did not love. I kind of thought that this was going to give me smoother results, but it just, didn't do anything for my hair. It just didn't do anything for my hair. And I honestly was just very confused about this hair tool. I didn't know exactly what it was supposed to do to my hair. I know that it was supposed to make it smoother and less frizzy looking, but it didn't do that at all. I feel like it just, it just didn't do anything to my hair. So I was just very, very confused about it. So I had to put that one at number nine. At number eight, I have the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer, but the Styler one, like the one in the paddle brush type of design. So I didn't love that one just because I just feel like it's not the ideal hair tool for my hair type. I prefer a round brush over a paddle brush to smooth out my hair, but I know that that hair tool is very nice for people with like more coarse hair. It's very nice at straightening out your hair and just smoothing everything out so i know that there's a lot of people that actually love that hair tool it's just that it wasn't the right hair tool for me and my hair type so that's why i put it at number eight but i've heard really good things about that hair tool and i've heard a lot of people really really loving it so yeah i guess it just depends on your hair type and what you like to use on your hair but for me i just prefer round brushes 100 percent more than paddle brushes at number seven i have the revlon two-in-one multi styler so this hair tool was painful to use <laughs> this hair tool pulls my hair so much I was also a little bit confused about this hair, so I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't love the like bristles that it had around it. It just pulled my hair. It just, it was just not gentle at all. As a straightener, it wasn't bad, but once you tried to use it as like a curling iron type of hair tool or like a curling hair tool, it was just not the easiest to use and it was not the most gentle hair tool to use on your hair for curls. Like I would have preferred a curling iron or just even like a regular straightener to straighten my hair. I would have preferred that over this hair tool. So yeah, I did not love that. If you are looking for a Revlon straightener though, they do have one that is very, very nice. So I'm gonna link that one down below and I'm gonna put some videos up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I actually compared that straightener to a GHD straightener, which is like $250. I love the GHD Platinum Plus, but the Revlon one was not bad at all. And I feel like it's very, very nice, especially for the price. So if you guys are looking for a straightener from Revlon, something a little bit more affordable, I am going to be linking that one down below. I actually forgot to put that one in the list, but it is a hair tool that I think is more like at the top of my list, like one of my favorite Revlon hair tools. But yeah, unfortunately I forgot to put on the list, but it is a very nice hair tool. It's not my number one, like it's not like my favorite, not even like top three favorite, but it is a very nice straightener. At number six, I have the Revlon Mix Curler, like the adjustable two-in-one curling wand. I just didn't love that one too much because I just would have preferred maybe like the Connor ones. I'm gonna put a video up here. Like this is about the same price and it's just way easier to use and it just makes more sense to me. This is also a wand, but you get three different attachments, three different sizes, 
1.25, 1 inch, and half an inch wands, and you're able to get different looks, and it's just easy to use. It's just self-explanatory, it's just a wands, and it's very affordable, and it gives you beautiful curls. So this one is a big win for me. I love this Connor set, but this Revlon 2-in-1 adjustable curling wands was just not my favorite. I just didn't like how my hair was getting so stuck. It wouldn't just like slide down. You know when you curl your hair and then you just let the hair slide down? The design of this hair tool was just not making it easy for my hair to just slide down. Like something so simple like that. Even whenever I would switch this hair tool from the 1 inch to the 1.25 inch wands, I just feel like it still would get stuck like my hair would just get stuck and it would just not slide down so it was just very uncomfortable and like kind of annoying to use but overall it gave me very nice curls i did like the final results but i just feel like i could have gotten these curls with another hair tool that would be like around the same price even and that would just make it easier for me to curl my hair at number five i have the revlon waver so this hair tool is actually so good it gives you beautiful waves but i actually never really used it that much for some reason i just guess i don't usually go for that wave look so if you are looking for like beachy waves at a very affordable price this is a great hair tool it really gave me beautiful waves like i don't really use it that much but i wanted to put it at number five because it is a nice revlon hair tool it's very affordable and it gives you beautiful waves so it's very easy to use it's just it's a good hair tool i really like it i just don't use it that much but i should because i really love the waves that it gave me that day that i used it because i haven't used it again after that i don't think but yeah it gave me beautiful waves so yeah really love the hair tool and again it's very affordable so yeah at number four i have the revlon root booster i've used this hair tool a lot but i try to avoid using it on wet hair this one is very similar to the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer the original because it gets very very hot it doesn't have a medium heat setting so i try to avoid that one i try to avoid the root booster i only use it whenever i want to just touch up my blowout so for example maybe tomorrow i would use it to kind of shape my bangs i really like that like small round brush and it gives me very nice beautiful curls i'm gonna put a tiktok here so you guys can see the curls that you can get with that hair tool i've used this on wet hair it gives me very very smooth blowouts but i just feel like this gets super hot and over time it is going to cause a little bit of damage and breakage so i try to avoid it this one reminds me of the dyson airwrap round brush attachment like it's an attachment that i only use to touch up my blowout to do my bangs just like for stuff like that so it's a great hair tool if you have very short hair you might like it if you do use this blow dryer to blow out your hair maybe use it on like 70 percent dry hair try to not use it on soaking wet hair because over time it might damage your hair a little bit so keep that in mind moving on to hair tool number three the og revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer so this one is so special to me it has a very special place in my heart it really really does i feel like that was the first hair tool that i kind of introduced to my youtube channel and it just has a very special place in my heart it really really does i have so many videos in my channel just of that hair tool and comparing it to other hair tools i just have so many videos here on my channel using the revlon the original like so many videos so it has such a special place in my heart and i really really love it i used it so much yes there's other hair tools now that i use a little bit more i don't use that hair tool that much anymore just because like the revlon root booster the Revlon Original gets very, very hot. It doesn't have a medium heat setting. It kind of, over time, can damage your hair. It can cause a little bit of breakage. So be very, very careful. If you use the Revlon, the Original, use it on almost dry hair, like 70% dry hair, because you don't want to use this hair tool on wet hair. Trust me, I've done it a lot. I've done it enough. And you don't want to do it, <laughs> because it is going to cause... A little bit of damage and breakage so keep that in mind but if you have more wavy hair and if you're able to blow your hair like straight from pretty damp almost dry hair 
then you can use it and I don't feel like it's going to damage your hair that much over time but for me I have to blow out my hair straight from pretty wet hair because my hair is very curly and it gets very frizzy and I just get smoother results whenever I blow out my hair straight from like pretty wet hair. At number two, I have the Revlon Blowout Curls. This hair tool is interesting. I feel like it gives me very soft curls that you could kind of get with the Dyson Airwrap and the Shark Flex style, but at a much cheaper price at $70. So affordable. This is going to give you very soft looking curls, but you have to be careful. Don't use this on wet hair. I feel like I've seen a lot of people use this on wet hair and I would not recommend that at all. This hair tool gets very hot. The clamp gets super, super hot. It's like this metal material. So it almost feels like a curling iron. I'm gonna be honest, but it's not that hot like a curling iron, but it gets very, very hot. So I would not use it on wet hair. Even though this hair tool doesn't do the Kwanzaa effect like the Dyson Airwrap and the Shark Flex style, it does give you very soft looking curls and the clamp is not too bad i mean if you use it on dry hair it's not too bad because you're able to grab pretty big sections i mean i'm able to do my hair in like less than 10 minutes honestly i'm able to curl my hair so quickly with this hair tool and i also like that you're able to use it in the medium heat setting because it comes with the base of the revlon plus so the new revlon actually has a medium heat setting instead of just being low and high it has the low medium and high heat setting so you're able to kind of bring the heat setting down if you want or you can put it in the highest heat setting if you're using it on dry hair i sometimes do that since i'm using it on dry hair the revlon blowout curls i just put it in the high heat setting and in less than 10 minutes i'm able to get very nice beautiful bouncy curls i've heard mixed reviews about this hair tool some people love it some people hate it i think it's a good hair tool the thing is that you have to kind of know how to use it so that it doesn't damage your hair using a clamp on wet hair with extreme heat is not a good idea so don't do that i don't know how many times i have to repeat myself and say that i just really don't want you guys to burn your hair but I really like using the hair tool when my hair is dry, completely dry. I literally just curl my hair very quickly and in 10, less than 10 seconds, I get a beautiful curl in a very big section. And yeah, I really like that hair tool. I think it's good. So I put that one at number two. And at number one, my favorite hair tool from Revlon is definitely the Revlon Plus. The Revlon Plus is, I was gonna say a game changer, but the original was the game changer, okay? The original really changed everything for so many people. Like it really changed how I just started doing my hair. So yeah, I have a special place in my heart for the original, but the Plus is better. I mean, they just made the original better, so i'm okay with that i love that number one i love that the round brush is a little bit smaller than the revlon the original so you're able to get closer to the roots you're able to get a bouncier look and it's just better for shorter hair as well so if you have shorter hair you're gonna like that round brush more than the original number two it's detachable so it's easier to store the only thing is that how is revlon going to make a hair tool detachable and then come out with another hair tool, the Revlon Blowout Curls, <laughs> that is also detachable and is compatible to the base of the Revlon Plus, but not sell the attachments separately. How? How can you do that to us? <laughs> so if you already have the Revlon Plus and you love it and you want to add something to it, you want to add the Blowout Curls attachment, you can't do that. You have to buy the entire hair tool that is $70 and you're stuck with two of the same bases so that is a little bit ridiculous to me i'm sorry i mean i just wish that they were available to buy separately because so many people would buy it i feel but i get it i know that their hair tools are already so affordable so much cheaper than other hair tools on the market and selling the attachments separately for maybe like 20 30 dollars may not be as profitable than only selling the whole thing at 70 bucks so i get it i get it but like come on but anyways i also love that the revlon plus also has a medium heat setting which is so nice it doesn't get as hot 
as the high heat setting from the original but if you want the high heat setting it also includes the high heat setting so it has low medium and high and cool i believe overall i feel like the revlon plus is an amazing hair tool and that's why i wanted to put it at number one so yeah guys if you have tried any of these hair tools let me know in the comments down below and i hope you like this video i hope you're liking this little series that i have going on if you do please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss the next one that i have that is of the ghd brand so that one's coming right after this one i have tried so many ghd hair tools i think i have a list of seven hair tools so i'm going to be ranking them from my least favorite to my favorite hair tool so yeah stay tuned subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye